Good morning, guys. So I'm at my apartment dumpsters. I was walking a dog and seeing that there was some items thrown out. So I decided to look inside the dumpsters this morning to see what was in there. I do see this um, floral, I think it's a box or something. I want to see if that actually worked. And there is a little floaty thing there. So I have to see if that actually worked. Also, if it's not deflated. And um, then they have these toys here on the ground here. And I'm not going to get this together because I think it don't have all the pieces to the track. But I did notice that it's a gray container here, which I need a tote very badly. And um, right there is a walk. So if I can get these items out, there is actually a rug right there. I don't know how good it is, but I'm going to try to pull these items out. So I was able to turn that tote around. Look what's in there. They threw Legos away. So I'm gonna try to get as many as I can when I lift this gray container, but yeah, they're down up in there. <laughs> okay, so I made it back home. So we can see the items better. Um, this is, I guess it's like a little book bin or little trash can, I don't know. Um, but it's in really good condition. It's Chelsea's home. Um, I don't know what it is. It's a little organizer, I guess. And then um, this walk. Look how nice that is. I mean, yes, it's inside. It looks horrible. But look how huge this thing is. Now all we got to do is clean that out. That's no problem. But that is a nice walk. I have a smaller one. And um, it has ridges in it. And then it kind of got bad so this one should be good if I can clean it up this has a non-stick um, surface in there so it should be really good for sauteing okay and so then I found this which is part of a Hot Wheels um, that set that was on the ground out there I didn't get the rest of the stuff because some of it seemed to be broken so I just decided to get the thing for the cars um, another thing um, for the Hot Wheels cars is the little trailer that the cars go on I figured I could get that sold and then the Hot Wheels box um, that's in really good condition it full, full, holds 48 cars in there and I do have Hot Wheels cars uh, that I collected oh some months back there was a whole thing of Hot Wheels cars so uh, that'll be a good container and then I probably can sell it all together okay so in this big tote uh, let me sh see if we can see it in the sunlight yes our Sun is beaming really hard early this morning um, it was 80 degrees at 1 o'clock this morning that's yeah that's Texas weather so anyway it has Legos in there um, this is a part that goes for the Hot Wheels uh, cars and so that will go with the Hot Wheels I don't know exactly what this thing is for I think it's broke it don't have the other parts to it but all those Legos I'm gonna just put them in a Ziploc bag with some soapy water and wash them up I see some little um, Lego people in there there's a little Lego man so anyway I'm gonna try to clean up these Legos so you can see them a lot better but yeah whatever it was in it was sticky like it looked like syrup maybe um, a little kids toy box seemed that they thrown away uh, so anyway I love this huge tote so <laughs> I can use that at my storage so I seen that before I even knew what was inside there okay I'm at the Pier 1 dumpster and can you tell they had a party in here? They made sure that they destroyed as much stuff as they could. All the dressers and everything destroyed. I was able to salvage a little bit, but yeah, it's messed up in there. On there, they had a few wires. You see they crushed the lamp.
Okay, so I got this out of the Kirkland's dumpster, and you see the little tag says damaged on here. Um, it says a true love story never ends. And the only damaged place I've seen is this little corner right here. But as for the other pictures, I don't see any of them damaged. And it was $14.99 for this picture frame. So, um, I think that was an awesome score this morning. I can just take that, that glass out of that one. Um, which I'll probably take the glass out of the opposite one. So, it kind of looked like it's made to be like that. But anyway cute find this morning okay guys so i'm back at my apartment dumpsters and i already have a carload of stuff let me show y'all look at all this look at the legos there's a hello kitty blow up thing for halloween spider-man all this stuff was in the dumpster there's some clothes and um there's an old smoky right there i'm trying to get the lid of it but i did want to show you it's nasty. You got some gnats going on and everything in here. But I'm trying to get... I don't know what that is right there. Um, but anyway. Trying to get some stuff out of this apartment dumpster. Some dolly. Somebody's getting ready to move. And they are dumping everything out. So I will show you everything I get when I get to the house. But I did want to show y'all the, um, the old smoking See the lid? It's like way back there. And I really don't want to have to jump into this dumpster to get the lid i don't know i'm gonna try to see with my ladder can i reach over there and get it because i really don't want to get in there um but anyway yeah i just wanted to show y'all guys that i was at my apartment dumpsters and seeing what i can get my last dumpster at the apartments let's see what's in here nothing in here this nastiness but I did find this little cutie when I went to the other dumpster so that is two I forgot the lid guys <laughs> um, that is two barbecue pits look at that all right so we're gonna head to the house because it's still a lot of people outside and uh, man look at our clouds I think we're gonna get some rain but I'm through for the, for the evening, so I'm nearly not worried about it. Okay, guys, so I finally made it in with all the stuff from my apartment dumpsters. Um, I think it was a pretty good haul. Sundays are starting to be, you know, the best day to do my diving. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and get into this. So first, we're going to start with how can someone throw away the classic? Somebody <laughs> threw away the Grinch and yes, it's in there and it's in really good condition So then we have this clock which I'm sure it works. It looks really good on the back of it Beautiful clock. I love the red that would be awesome in my kitchen um, I did see a guest shoe But I couldn't find the other one guys man Look at that nice little cute shoe. And then the thing is, it was my size. And I was like, oh, I could not find that other guest shoe. But I'm going to hold on to it. Because sometimes, you know, they throw away stuff and don't realize they haven't threw something else away. So I'm going to check in that dumpster tomorrow to see if they throw the other pair away. We did have this Calvin Klein, uh, I guess it was a little makeup bag. And guess what was in there? Yeah. I made five cents. <laughs> yeah, it's a cute little Calvin Klein makeup bag. Okay, and then we have these books. Healing the Whole Man Handbook. And The Dance of Anger. So, have these two books. Okay, and let me show you this first too. So, we have three high schools in my city. And, um, so one of the high schools has this color, so I will be donating this to the high school for someone that maybe can't afford the, those, um, graduation gowns get expensive. So I'm going to give this to the school so they can donate it to someone that needs, um, a, a cap and gown. Okay, so on to these boxes. Now, when I seen these, okay, we have a Spider-Man uh, blow-up inflatable and then a Hello Kitty. 
inflatable so i was like okay so it's the box you know it's just somebody threw some trash away in there because look at the price of it 29.97 but look at these guys they are in good condition they have the stuff still in the bag that means they haven't even took it out i mean everything is there can you believe <laughs> everything is in it's still sealed in the bag i mean so that's the spider-man uh inflatable which is awesome that will be cool cool oh my goodness <laughs> cool for can you tell i've had a long day man okay so that would be cool for halloween and then look at the hello kitty one so i'm thinking okay could it be in good condition yes look at this the stuff is still the stakes are right there i mean they didn't even use them i guess they bought them on clearance or sell you know after the holidays but this is nice so that right there just these two boxes alone is sixty dollars and then we have the spider-man marble lego for two to five year olds so i guess these are the bigger ones it was sealed um they taped it up so maybe it had okay guys look at that that looks like everything that was on this box is right here. Like they haven't even put it together or anything. That is amazing. Look, the little coins, the cars, the big car. I don't know if that big car go in there. Maybe it does. I don't see that on the box. <laughs> so we got an extra toy. Yeah, because that says VTech. Um, so anyway, that is neat I think all the parts are there for that okay so this next item is a artwork station um, for drawing coloring and painting so I'm guessing it's the little easel where you just pull the paper out of it let's see and this is open it's not taped up but it looks like it's in there look at that Whoa. oh maybe they didn't even use that because here is the the stuff that you put in there when it's new man that is so cute oh my goodness I guess you slide it underneath here so you can be able to tear the pieces off can't do it with one hand but look at that you can roll it and roll your pieces that you need so let's get to these items so these were just thrown about in the dumpster and so i just threw them all in the box together so we first have this little tray and then we have this smurfette now this stuff is going to need to be washed and I'll clean, clean it up and let it air dry so I can be able to um, donate it. Okay, let's hold off on that and let's get to these other animals. We have a little bunny. Oh, isn't he adorable? He is risen, so it must have been their Easter bunny. Very cute. And look at this. Yes, yeah, someone threw Goofy away. How did they do that? But cute, cute. Look at Goofy. So then the next item, look at this cute bunny. It's so soft. It has the texture, so it has to be like for a baby. You know how they have the different ridges and the feel, feel of the material. Cute bunny. Let's see. It's by Hallmark cute hallmark bunny oh you're sitting on goofy okay so then i found these two utensils in there which are wonderful for barbecuing since i found two barbecue pits you know these are let's see stainless china okay so is it stainless because when it's in china or is it stainless steel don't know <laughs> 
I've never seen it say stainless china, but it doesn't matter. Even if they wasn't, this was a cute set. I love these colors together. And um, so I will be using this with when I barbecue. And I found this little cute camera, which I'm hoping it works because my mom goes to cameras oh, like there's no tomorrow. I mean, she constantly, she's really rough on cameras. So hopefully this camera just needs some batteries in there. It's a can. It seems like it, you know, shouldn't have any problems with it. It looks in very good condition. I have to put some batteries in there and check and see if it works. But if it does, I would be definitely giving that to, to my mom. And so then we have this Spider Man, I guess is a um sleeper, sleep um sleeping bag. So anything that I get from the dumpster, I make sure that I take it out of the container it's in because I mean everybody don't have sanitation going on in their houses and I don't want to bring anybody's bed bugs or little roaches or anything else into the house okay so I unzipped it I checked inside the little corners and creases and this spider-man sleeping bag is good to go so there's no issues with it I mean it's really cute sleeping bag someone would love that for probably kids camp or something like that so i would definitely be cleaning this up quickly and trying to sell this so anyway let's go on to the rest of the items okay so i pulled out this dvd player and when i plug it up it does come on but when i try to eject um to you know open to to see inside of it it's not letting me so I don't know if it's catching up somewhere or something on that but this little cute thing here look at this yeah someone threw that away someone threw that in the dumpster so um, I did plug it up as you can see and look guys the green light comes on. <laughs> it just says you need to replace the cartridge, the ink cartridge in it. But other than that, oh my goodness. Look at that. You can do, I guess, undoubtedly you can do facts. It's Wi-Fi connected, which you can connect to the house. So it's this got to be a I won't say is it a wireless one? I don't know because it's Wi-Fi based. Um let's see what it says on the back of it. Mm, it doesn't say if it's I think it is wireless because it's nowhere to hook you know something up and it does say Wi-Fi if it wasn't wireless it shouldn't say that I have to find out more information about it but I did want to show y'all guys look at this thing it actually work so I'll be able to make copies and I don't know if I can send facts I have to find out like I said more about it to see what I can do it might be just a copy machine which is great I don't mind okay these items um, I got from this one from the Kirkland dumpster which I did show y'all video a little earlier of that um, just in that little corner that's where the damage is other than that look at this gorgeous picture nice and it was $14.99 from Kirkland's so just that little area is damaged. And so now this was from Pier 1. It's a little wood frame. It is missing some of the wood around there. But then it still kind of look, you know, cute with it like that. Anyway, the glass is not broke. I'm trying not to break it. I'm just going to lay it down. <laughs> the glass is not broke on that. 
And so I showed y'all in the video where they just had a party with destroying everything. So it takes a little while long to try to figure and find something that they can't tear up because it's metal, you know. So with this flower, it was a solar solar powered um, little flower. And let me see the price of it. Did it show what the price of it? No, they even ripped the price tag off of it. So I don't even know why they had to damage it if they snatched the price tag off. But it did have a little blue bulb, I guess, light that was in that. Um, that they did break that inside there. But, you know, I can bend this back out and make it cute. Let's see. That doesn't, because they really can't do much damage when it's metal or aluminum or stuff like that. So they really can't tear it up like they want to. So look at that. that I got to bend it out a little better, but that is cute. And I don't know if the light, the solar thing will still work. Oh, look at that. <laughs> They didn't even mess it up. Okay, so they broke the blue glass in there. But look, guys, the thing works. So I'll just look up online to see how much um, this little little flower is. But look at that. The thing works. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So let's turn that off. Yay, score. Okay, so then... We have this, um, which I learned from, okay, so the cord is here, and they did splice it, They, I mean, they did cut it, but I believe that because this cord is so long, that these two pieces, let me show you, um, this is the base, I know this is the base because this is where the major cord is, you know? But this is the only part I got. We're just pretty short. So that is way too much wire unless, because it doesn't even screw in there. So it must have had a long pole and this was a big tall lamp. But um, since it's, it's not tall anymore, I'm thinking about just maybe um, gluing this with some E6000, see if I can, see if it actually hold that up. But look what the price of that thing was, $139. They did destroy the top of it. Um, you know, they kind of broke the top of it. But you can go to like the hardware store, take this screw off here, take this all out, and get a whole nother little wire set for this. And so I'm going to... I'm going to call this a project that we're going to work on to see if I can glue that part together. Wouldn't that be cute? It looked like a little a little scepter or something. Look at that. No. I think that's really cute. So I'm going to have to figure out my creativity. They did spray a little spray paint. They're trying to be like bath and body. <laughs> uh, so they did spray a little spray paint on there, but... It really doesn't matter. I'm going to spray paint it a different color. But yeah, that's going to be a project. But I really want to see if I can fix this into a lamp. If not, um, some kind of art piece or something. Anyway, so that is the item from Kirkland's in Pier 1. And I have one more um, project I'm thinking about doing. Let me show you guys. Okay, so... I got this little stand. Um, it's supposed to be in a, a lamp. This was from Kirkland's, but they had destroyed the, the lamp, but I decided to grab the base of it. And I have this hedge. Um, I've had this for a couple months now, and I was going to try to br uh, break off this part and do something with it if I can have it at my front door. But I'm thinking... I don't know if this is going to work, but I was thinking that is a cool base right there. And what if I can put this on top of there? <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
it's I guess it's like ceramic or whatever kind of so maybe I can break some of that off just enough for I can put that on there I don't even know if it'll stay if it's not too heavy that is gorgeous to me I don't know I like kind of misfit things put together and um I don't know if that'll hold because it's so heavy. But y'all have an ideal because that would be awesome at my front door to have this big tall hedge like thing. <laughs> I don't know. I I just had a, I I love this. It's a fake hedge, but it looks so realistic. And um I would love to put it at my front door. If you have an ideal, what I'm needing to figure out is how can I this is heavy. I'm I'm not going to lie. This thing feels like at least three or four pounds. It's heavy. And to go on this, um, I don't think no E6000 is going to hold this heavy base of this. So, I, I don't know what else I can do with it. Guys, I need your help. Can you figure it out for a sister? <laughs> okay. So, anyway, like I said, that's a project I want to do. That scepter lamp thing is a project. Um, so I will be doing a lot more DIYs. I'm trying to have my channel with a combination of things. I don't want to be... I'm I'm the type of person that don't like to be put in a box. And I started out with dumpster diving and I will continue to dumpster dive. But guys, there is a lot more to me than dumpster diving. And... I want to be able to show my gifts and talents that I was blessed with, um, cooking and doing other things, hanging with my family, spending time going to a women's event. I like to do those a lot. And so my channel will have a combination of different things in there. So if you're just looking for strictly dumpster diving, I, I love you, but this is not good. <laughs> That's not all I'm going to have on my channel. If you want to, you can always look at my playlist because I do split it up so you can stick with me and just watch my dumpster diving videos, but be patient with me if you don't see something um, because I might be doing something else. I might be on a retreat. I might be spending time with my family or cooking a meal. So anyway, guys, just to say all that. I am so happy of all the awesome subscribers I'm getting. I'm getting to know y'all better. When y'all do subscribe, I do click on to see if y'all are just subscribers or you have your own channels. And I do try to check them out to see, you know, what type of people are interested in what I do and, and to see if I'm interested in what they do. That doesn't mean I'm going to subscribe to your channel. That just means that I do go and check them out. Um, because I feel like I'm not going to subscribe to something that I'm not going to be watching. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be able to know when I upload a video and I'll see you on the next dive.